It's coyote mating season, and well, they're out enjoying the city and suburbs now more than ever. Something else for us to consider now. And WGN's Julian Rue checked in with an expert here in Illinois who has been tracking them since he was a teen, I guess. He, he's an expert with one heck of a nickname. They call him Coyote Man, and this time of year, he's busier than ever, averaging three hours of sleep a night to keep up with demand. His clients, towns, cities, homeowners who have found these four-legged predators getting all too comfortable around humans and their pets. I feel terrible when somebody's pet gets killed. It's a terrible, horrible thing. And I'm trying the best I can to make sure that it doesn't happen. That is Rob Erickson, better known as Coyote Man. What you got, big girl? He spends days, weeks, and even months tracking down coyotes, scaring locals all over Illinois. He and a small team were called in to catch Chili's killer in Palatine. They did it. There were two dogs that were actually killed in Palatine. Uh, one was on the north side of town and one was on the south side of town. And uh, both of the offending coyotes have been removed. Scientific Wildlife Management has been at this since 2013. They even created this website so you can help track down the predators too by sharing your sightings. The problem these days, there are a few. For starters, Erickson says coyotes are greatly overpopulated. One of the things that people don't understand is every time you have a mild winter, the populations go up between 18 and 27 percent. And while people think the coyotes are the problem, Coyote Man says people are very much to blame. Basically feeding, that's the biggest thing that we have. The bird feeders are overwhelmed with foods. Every coyote that we've done in a crop on this year has had bird seed in them, every single one. Bird feed, dog and cat food, even food from your own table that some people deliberately put out for the coyotes. Erickson says it has to stop. They're opportunists. They will do anything they can for a meal. The coyotes are killers. Andy says they won't leave a territory where there's food, risking more than just your pet's safety. One municipality had 261 coyote sightings in just 11 days. These citizen reportings are key. Erickson and his team rely on them and something else these days too. Look at this video from Villa Park. A little girl grazed by a coyote in broad daylight all caught on the family's ring camera. These doorbell devices are catching what people wish they could, the coyotes at work right outside their doors. <coughs> catching pets, wild rabbits, squirrels, chickens, you name it. Once they lose their fear, they become extremely dangerous. Scientific Wildlife Management is enlisting another tool too, this thermal monocular. It can spot a coyote up to a mile away. We used it to spot this deer in a suburban forest preserve. Erickson says if it were a coyote with mange, the animal would look even brighter through the lens. He says coyotes with mange, a debilitating disease, need to be destroyed. Once the animals become sick, they become five times more likely to come in contact with a human or be a problem. According to the Illinois Department of Public Health, 38 coyote bites were reported between 2013 and 2020. 15 of them were in Cook County, and 29 of those bites were to the hand or arm, foot or leg. Erickson says right now is not the time to feed a coyote or get to know one. Males are aggressive during mating season, stretching from January 15th to February 15th. And once the pups arrive, 63 days later, then the females become the aggressors to protect their young. Overpopulation coupled with mating season. Let her, let her go down first. Catching a coyote has become a crusade for Coyote Man, who's having trouble keeping up with these dogs who've made their way to the city and suburbs in record numbers. In the rural areas, they're still hunted and pursued. In the city, they pose for pictures. There's absolutely no repercussion to anything that they do. Get away. Now, after scientific wildlife management catches the coyotes, the team either tags them to be tracked or the animals will be destroyed if they're in poor health or in a threat to the community. Lastly, the pandemic is actually helping in some ways here. In recent days, because we are simply remaining just a little closer to home than usual, people are spotting more coyotes and reporting them. Sightings are up. For more information on Coyote Man's work, just head to our website, WGNTV.com. He is um, a busy guy. Coyote yeah. Man. You bet. Working hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, th you feel sorry for the coyotes, but when you have two little dogs like I do, you don't want them anywhere around. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. It's a tough right. balance. Thank you. Thanks, Julie.